So in this video, I'm going to tell you the six services you should definitely disable immediately on your iPhone and the two you're going to probably want to turn on. Let the download begin. So if you're new here, we do support videos. So if you want to learn how to use and troubleshoot your device, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for notification so you don't miss a video. So you're going to see a common theme with a lot of these services. They look at the data that's in your phone and I'm a big proponent of privacy. So turning off these services is going to increase the privacy you have on your own device. So the first Apple service we're going to take a look at is called Significant Location. And Significant Location is really just Apple looking at the different locations that you've been to via your iPhone. So it uses that GPS and the tracking in your iPhone to see what locations you frequent and it adds that to the significant locations list. And Apple says the reason it does this is to provide some more location-based services for you like photo tagging or better GPS tracking or better directions via traffic and things of that nature. But I say it's just them looking at your data. You definitely don't need the service on so go ahead and turn it off. So now it's really simple to turn off actually but it's buried under a bunch of menus so you know it's important right so if you go into your settings app you're going to hit privacy and you're going to go to location services at the top then system services all the way at the bottom of the list and on that list you're going to find location services so now it's probably going to ask you for your apple id or it's going to take a scan of your face id but once you're in you can actually disable the service and if you take a time to look through the services you'll probably see a lot of locations that you find that you frequent a lot. I should mention that Apple says that this information is not only encrypted, but it's not shared and it's only stored on your iPhone for your access. But if you were to lose your iPhone and somebody was to be able to gain access to your iPhone, it would have basically a full list of locations that you frequent, the addresses and the times that you frequent those locations. So it's actually a little creepy. And I definitely would suggest that you disable it because it's really not serving you too much of a purpose in the functions of the day-to-day -day use. Of your iPhone. The next service we're going to take a look at is called Limit Ad Tracking. So this is actually a service you kind of have to turn off in order to really turn on. So normally what Apple does is it takes information and it provides ads based on the information you enter into your iPhone for things that you search for via their app store or things that you enter into search bars in general. Your iPhone kind of catalogs that data and then provides you ads based on the things that you're searching for for quote the best advertising experience. But to me again this is just another instance of your phone taking a look at every single thing that you do. And in this world of data, we want to make sure that we limit and keep our privacy as much as possible. So you guessed it. I think we should definitely turn this off. Now I should put a disclaimer when you do turn on limited ad tracking, you're going to have a less than best advertising experience. And I know there's a lot of people out there that want the best advertising experience. If you do, then you might not want to turn the service on. So now if you go back into your settings, you hit privacy and you go down to advertising, you can actually turn on limited ad tracking here. And then your phone won't look at the information that you're searching for in the app store or any of the other search bars that you have on the iPhone itself. And again, it's all in an effort to keep your privacy as much as possible. I know you guys want that advertising so bad, but I will definitely turn the service on so it's not storing any data that you're entering into the phone. You can also turn off location-based ads, alerts, and suggestions because again, Apple logs all this information for your own good. And not only that, you're automatically opted in because they know exactly what you want at all times. Of course they do. So if you go into your settings app again, you hit privacy, you hit location, and you scroll all the way down and tap system services. You'll have access to a ton of things and be able to disable location-based alerts, ads, and suggestions. So again, just disabling this prevents your phone from tracking your location, from tracking the data that you're entering into your phone. And if you haven't gotten the theme of this video yet, it's all in an effort to make sure you maintain as much privacy with your iPhone as possible. So here's a quick question. Have you ever downloaded a game that you really enjoyed and in the middle of the game, you're playing it, you're enjoying it, pops up. Did you enjoy this game? Please review those pop-ups that always pop up when you download a free game in the app store. Did you know you can actually disable that? Good news is you can. If you go into the settings of your iPhone itself, you can actually disable in-app reviews. So you don't get those annoying pop-ups when you download a game 
asking for the game to be reviewed. Now, I also preface this by saying that app reviews definitely help out developers and it helps out customers as well, especially if the game sucks. You definitely want to know that the game sucks and you tell that a game is sucky from all the reviews that people give the one stars to. So one stars means a sucky game. Go ahead and support the developers by going into the app store and actually reviewing the games that you download. It helps them. It helps the customer. It helps everybody all around, but you can still disable those annoying pop-ups. So what you would do is just launch your settings app and you're going to head over to the iTunes iStore section, and then you're going to turn off in-app reviews and just make sure that's toggled off. So the next thing we're gonna take a look at is disabling access to Siri and basically home controls from your lock screen. You definitely don't want anybody to be able to access the stuff on your lock screen without the phone being unlocked. So this is just another security issue. You wanna make sure your phone is as secured as possible. So you definitely want to disable this particular feature or service. Okay, so to disable this feature, you're gonna go into your settings app, go to your face slash passcode section and scroll down to the different options that are enabled when screen is locked. And you can see that there's a bunch of options here so you can actually go nuts or crazy or whatever's PC nowadays. Go that way and disable any of the functions that you don't want to be able to be accessed when your screen is locked. It's for security purposes. Disable. Damn, so what's 17,875 divided by five? Let me go ahead and download a calculator app. Wait a second. Why does a calculator app need access to my pictures or my camera? or my microphone. So there's a bunch of apps that you download inside your system that have access to your camera and your microphone for whatever reason. There's really no need for a calculator app to have access to your camera and microphone. So you can actually go into the settings of your system and disable any of the apps that you don't believe or think need access to those particular services on your phone. So if you hit the settings app, you go into privacy, and then you're gonna tap on microphone and you can actually just disable the switches next to any of the apps that you don't want to have access to your microphone. And you can do the same thing for camera. So disabling these functions, again, as long as the app doesn't need access to your microphone and camera, the app's gonna work perfectly it just won't have access to those two particular things. So now we've been disabling like crazy. Let's go ahead and enable two services that your iPhone definitely can use to take advantage of the systems inside the phone to provide you a better overall experience. So you wanna enable USB accessories. And what this is, is basically a security option on your iPhone that prevents you from getting hacked. And nobody wants to get hacked except I'm sure there's gonna be somebody in the comments like, I wanna get hacked. Except for that guy, nobody else really wants to get hacked. So you definitely wanna enable this particular feature. All right, so you wanna go into your settings app. You wanna tap your face ID and passcode option. Enter your information, go in and make sure that USB accessory is actually turned off. Now, what this does is it prevents any kind of USB connections to your phone if your phone has been off longer than one hour. And this disabling helps prevent anyone from connecting to your phone if your phone has been sitting there for a really long time. Now, this also helps if you ever lose or misplace your phone, no one can just connect a USB or anything to your phone's device in order to enable access to your pictures, your contacts, whatever they can pull from the connection of this device. So you wanna make sure that this is enabled slash disabled. Just, just make sure it's turned off. So imagine you're watching your favorite Netflix show. No, no, definitely not that one. Yes. So you're watching your favorite Netflix show and all of a sudden you lose connection because the Wi-Fi that you're connected to is spotty and slow. Now, wouldn't it be great if there was an option in your phone that automatically switches over to your data when Wi-Fi is crappy? I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. There definitely is an option and it's the one you should definitely enable. The option is called Wi-Fi Assist. Let's go into the settings and enable it. You're gonna go into your settings app. You're gonna go into your cellular slash data section and you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and you're gonna make sure Wi-Fi assist is toggled on. So now when you're watching your favorite Netflix shows, so now when you're watching your favorite Netflix shows, Come on, get out of here, Iron Fist. No one likes you. You won't run into any kind of connection issues and you'll be able to breeze through seamlessly. Now, click here if you want to learn how to transfer files from your iPhone. This is something that YouTube believes you would enjoy watching. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Share your thoughts, comments, and questions in the comment section down below. And until next time, peace.